Hello, this is Al from ZPanel CP, and uh, now I'm going to install uh, a new model on ZPanel X. Now, the first thing you need to do is very simply if you come to our forum at forums.zpanelcp.com you will find all the information required to install a new module if you go here on the ZPanel X new modules let's say for example Balan here you will find all the information you require how to add the repository and how to update then how to install each module available for ZPanel X this is available for from sorry Balin and Rustus. You do it in the same way. I already done the installation of Balins, so today I'm going to um, show you how to do it with Rustus. Now, as you can see here, this is the repository for Rustus. So I go to run, type CMD. And all I'm going to do is just follow the description here. I'm, first of all, I'm going to change my directory to ZPanel. Now, what I'm using at the moment is Windows. So it's ZWPY repo add rustus.txtclan.com. Now this is to add the repository. Job done. Now you need to do ZWPY to update the repository. And that's it. Job done. Now what you need to do now, if you choose which one you want to add from this list, let's say I want to add the FTP browser. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if I type ZWPY install FTP browser, and there we go. Don't forget, after you install it, you need to enable it in the module, admin modules, and set all the information you need who can use the actual modules. If it's the admin, the reseller, or the final user. But anyway, I'm going to show you this as well. If I go to ZCP, sorry, dot ZPanel TK, this is for my panel anyway, you go to the address that you have uh, used to install ZPanel. I think we are just about to go 85% as you can see here the module is installed successfully now what I'm going to do here I'm going to uh, refresh just in case now if I go to module admin it's a little bit slower because I'm using TeamViewer rather than uh, direct connection let's see Well, we finish with this one here. And 
Don't understand why he's so slow. Here we go, we're back here again. Um, so the actual model we installed the FTP one needs to be enabled unless it's already enabled. That's it, FTP browser is already enabled. All I need to do now is make sure that I enable who can use it. Now I make sure that it's been used by all three. You logically make your own choice who can use it. The administrator or the reseller or the user or all three of them. Thank you again. And by the way, make sure that you save your changes. And after that, should be all ready to run. Thank you again and see you next time.